Is it time to buy or sell SoFi stock? In this video, we're diving deep into SoFi. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, May 5, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 1, 2023, our system has ranked SoFi as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 3.27. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock experienced a loss of minus 5.67%. This translates to an average loss of minus 1.13% per day since it was listed as sell candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current 3-month trend suggests a potential minus 20.12% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between minus 25.69% and minus 5.48%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 10.05% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 31.07% and 32.3%. This translates to a price range of $3.56 to $6.83 after a year. Our latest daily update for SoFi includes the headline, SoFi stock price up more than 5.41% on Friday. The SoFi stock price gained 5.41% on the last trading day, Friday, May 5, 2023, rising from $4.90 to $5.16. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 3.61% from a day low at $4.99 to a day high of $5.17. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 13.13% for this period. Volume fell on the last day by minus 18 million shares and in total, 40 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $208.74 million. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $8.52, and the lowest price was $4.24. Currently, the price is 39.44%, or $3.36, below the 52-week high, and 81.74%, or $23.10 below the all-time high on February 1, 2021, when the price reached $28.26. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, Morgan Stanley set a price target of 6.5. On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, Morgan Stanley set a price target of 6.5. On Thursday, December 15, 2022, Piper Sandler set a price target of 7.5. On Thursday, December 15, 2022, Piper Sandler set a price target of 7.5. On Thursday, December 15, 2022, Piper Sandler set a price target of 7.5. Sandler .5. Analysts have given SoFi stock a general buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as buy and price to book as buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for SoFi. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Wednesday, May 3, 2023, and so far it has risen 6.39%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The SoFi stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. 
Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $5.37 and $5.71. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, by signal 3 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 3 days ago. Short term moving average, sell signal 6 days ago. Long term moving average, sell signal 6 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 5 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 6 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 6 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 4 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for SoFi SoFi finds support from accumulated volume at $4.91 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock may move much during the day, volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $0.180 between high and low, or 3.61%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 9.92%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for SoFi, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A negative P-E ratio means the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even established companies experience down periods, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may signal insufficient profit and possible bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on July 31, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at dash $0.0600. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for SoFi. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for SoFi is at $5.47. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, SoFi encounters its first support level at $4.91. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for SoFi from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On May 4, 2023, Noto Anthony conducted an insider buy of 50,000 shares of common stock. On March 14, 2023, Webster Aaron conducted an insider buy of 154,147 shares of common stock. On March 15, 2023, Webster Aaron conducted an insider sell of 73,800 shares of common stock. On March 14, 2023, Webster Aaron conducted an insider sell of 154,147 shares of restricted stock unit. On March 14, 2023, Richel Jeremy conducted an insider buy of 233,927 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 5.822. Overall, insiders purchased 6,303,246 shares and sold 5,432,769 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is SoFi stock a good buy? 
SoFi holds several negative signals and is within a very wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a strong sell to a sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Monday, May 8, we expect SoFi to open down $0.0533 and start trading at $5.11. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.